If you guys are looking for a safe and cheap place to buy Mad Mobile coins, then make sure you head over to MMOTank.com. They have 15 minute delivery and you can also use my code duck at checkout for 10% off of your entire order. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Wodak at the Amber back again with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get 15 wins in this week's Madden World Tournament. Now as you can see, I have 15 wins and I'm going to be pushing to hopefully top 1% in the world. Currently, I am ranked um, top 9%, which is not good at all. But I plan on streaming uh, again tonight and trying to push to the top 1% so I can get this Everson Griffin 84. Uh, once I don't even know why they're releasing 84 overalls this late into the game. We're almost three months into the game and we're still getting 84s anyways. Um, the subscriber notifications are screwing out. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you do have the notifications turned on, you can comment down below and you have a chance at being shouted out in every single one of my videos. I should get into a habit, honestly, of shouting out the people and then we all good to go. But once again, Thank you guys for the people who have post notifications turned on. Thank you very much. So this weekend's tournament is a rushing tournament. Also, it has really good rewards. That's probably the reason why I'm making this video um, is because the, the other tournaments, they're really hard. And personally, I don't have the best grasp. You know, I'm, I'm not kind of gameplay guy. I'm more of a pack opening and just kind of having fun. I don't really care too much about the gameplay, but rushing is it's not my area of expertise but it's the area that i'm best uh, i have the most knowledge and i guess you could say and i know i made a video like a month ago um but probably a lot of people haven't already seen that video and if you're new to the channel you'll be seeing this one hopefully and i know a lot of people last night in the stream were saying it was kind of hard either people thought it was an extremely extremely easy tournament or people were getting their butts handed to them so anyways this should help you guys at least um with it and also the elite offensive player 500 cash and 15,000 xp are some extremely solid rewards um so if you get a tier 5, you'll be making some coins with the Elite Defensive Player Pack. Free money, free XP, free leveling up. That's always good. So on um, the first part or the first thing in this tutorial on how to get the most wins with the least amount of tickets is your game plan. Now, a lot of people were asking last night about my game plan. I showed it a few times, um, but probably the biggest thing that's going to help you win games is your game plan. And that is because if you have a really good game plan, that means you don't have to be really good at rushing. Um, so this game plan is relatively cheap. I would say it's only a few hundred thousand coins. Uh, maybe, I think it might be like three to 500K. I bought these things forever ago. I have not checked the market recently, but I can't imagine that all these combined cost more than 500K. The two point run might be a little bit expensive, but it is pretty important because it is just a rushing tournament. Um, but all these plays are rushing um, game plans. The strong eye halfback toss, weak eye halfback gut, a very crucial play that I love to run. A bunch halfback dive, uh, halfback dive weak, and halfback counter. So, uh, why I chose these plays is because of my game plan history. Now, if you go and you check view all and then you go to how often i have the um the, the running plays that are most commonly run against me i have these counters so strong i have back toss is used against me 12 percent of the time so of course i'm gonna go ahead and counter that so it means anytime someone runs this place it's instantly gonna get countered they're probably gonna use your lose the arch or maybe get a few uh yards if that and then the second place weak i have back gut bunch half back dive and then uh, the fourth run plays is halfback dive week and then the last play it really doesn't matter because these are all three percent three percent um they're not being used too often but then you have halfback counter so so basically i'm countering the four most commonly used run plays against me and that is really going to help you guys um have the best chance of winning because even if you don't score a touchdown or even if you get maybe 20 or 30 yards a super super good game plan but restrict the enemy or restrict your opponent from getting a lot of yards and i honestly won by only getting 30 yards because of this game plan i think the enemy got like uh the, the opponent I I don't know why I'm saying enemy got like uh, 15 yards and I got 30 yards and I still won the, the drive, which is really good. So that's probably the biggest thing. Um, you guys don't have to copy this game plan whatsoever. You can make, you can mix and match, take which ones you want. If you don't have enough coins, then I would just at least get a full running game plan for this week's tournament. Because once again, it's only rushing. So having any sort of passing plays in there is not going to help you whatsoever. Um, so the second thing is kind of your team. It's not super important, but it definitely does help. So of course, you're not going to need any good wide receivers, tight ends, or really necessarily even any good quarterbacks this week. It's all about your halfback and your fullback. Now, my halfback is, of course, 107 Hirsch Walker. And I know probably none of you guys have this card because it's super expensive to get. Um, but probably the best budget piece that I can give you guys for this tournament because I know uh, the market's super expensive right now. So I'm going to try to give you guys the best budget piece that I can. So um, the best budget uh, card that I would probably recommend to you guys is Tariq Cohen, Cohen, something like that. He's going for around 7,000 coins right now. Look at this, guys. 86 speed, 89 agility, and 86 excel. All you have to do is train him up to 80 overall, and he has 96 speed, 
99 agility, basically 96 itself. Like, so he is almost, um, almost as good as my 107 Herschel Walker, and he'll only be an 80 overall tree Cohen, but he's going to have some lower stats like catch, strength, awareness, but still, he's going to have really good speed, agility, and excel, which is definitely what you're looking for in a halfback. So this is probably the best halfback for budget reasons that I'm going to recommend you guys. Um, if you have a lot of coins, then probably just go do your own research because there are a lot of halfbacks out there on the market right now. So that's probably the one that I'm going to be recommending to you guys. So that's really done with step two. And honestly, your uh, your fullback really doesn't matter too, too much. It matters like just a little bit your fullback. I have um, John K just because of his insane blocking and his strength and all that stuff. He's a really good blocker because he. I think I only have like one play where you can actually use the fullback. Um, so he's really just used for a blocker on my team. 100 overall blocker. Pretty good. Of course, he's going to do his job really well. So let's actually head over to the tournament and I'll show you guys what you need to do. So I have to buy some tickets, you know, that's fine by me. But um, I did, I think I had 15 tickets. I only purchased like maybe five of them yesterday. So I think I had like anywhere from a 70 to like a 75% win rate, which is pretty good if you ask me during this tournament. But I still do find it kind of odd that they're giving us 84 overall um, you know, reward players for top 1% top one percent it is kind of glitched up because last week i think i was top two or three percent and i still got the player and i think the player is only top one percent still it's kind of glitched now the rewards have never really been perfect for the tournaments i really don't understand it so 86 overall um 84 overall defense 88 overall offense um so i might expect a decent game plan the higher uh level someone is the better game plan you can expect so if you're going against a level 30 overall player you probably aren't going to expect that person to have a strong game plan so you can use the really um the really overpowered plays i'm about to show you guys so if the person looks like they don't have a strong game plan, start off all of your drives with weak eye half by gut. It is the go-to play that I love. It's probably the best play in this game, honestly. I just kind of failed right there. It wasn't even countered. I should have kept on going to the outside, but I thought, you know, my O-line has been really sketchy recently. Like, it'll it'll hold some blocks, but it won't hold others. So, if this play is not countered 100%, so if it's countered, you know, like a 10% counter chance, I would still continue on with this method and this play sequence. Um, but if it is countered 100% of the time, I will show you guys another play sequence to follow. But if it's not countered, then do bunch halfback dive. It is right across from it on the right side. Um, this, I don't think it's countered. No, I don't think it's countered. By the, the way they, uh, they line up, I can sort of tell because I've done this play so many times i still am kind of goofing and if my gameplay is not top tier i'm mainly just focusing on the you know showing you guys the plays which ones work because these plays really do work and if i wasn't commentating then i probably would be doing a little bit better so uh, the next play i'm going to recommend is trips tied in halfback counter um no i don't think this one was countered no it was not run to the outside all the way to the outside there's one man truck him there we go boys that might be a touchdown herschel walker 100 something speed and we get it, boys. So those three plays are extremely, extremely overpowered. If you use them properly, then they're really good. So uh, if, if those are not countered, then you're really good to go for a pretty easy win, to be honest. But if they are countered, I'll show you next drive which sequence of plays that I'll be using. So eight points, and I think it was around like maybe 25 seconds. That should get you guys the win. If you don't win that, that opponent probably is really good. So we still won 18 seconds with a two-point conversion easy peasy and then we're going to go on to another drive real quick and show you guys the second sort of um play sequence that works if the plays are countered so what, what i mean by if the plays are countered is uh, as you see my game plan is really good so all the plays i just used right there most of them were countered in my own game plan so if people like you know follow the rules and they're doing what i'm doing then you're probably going to go get up against some people that do actually counter the really good plays so you're going to have to you know use some other good plays but some not as well known good plays. so um, the first thing once again always started off with this play now whether or not it's countered i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the second sequence of plays that i run if it is countered so let's just say that for this video that play was countered 100 percent counter chance now if that play is countered you're going to go ahead and assume that all the other good plays that you would normally run are going to be countered so head on down to the bottom and start using these other plays that are really good but not as commonly used so trip halfback stretch it's a really good play you can run it two ways go right through the middle depending on what's looking like or go right to the outside get an easy first down just you know look at the screen if there's no gaps in the o-line go through the outside it's easy first down and the second play that i'm going to recommend in this sort of sequence that if it's countered continue on with the sequence sometimes this place counter is kind of a hit or miss with weak halfback dive but there we go we got another easy 15 yards with that play so those two plays 
are really good plays that are hardly ever countered um so let's head back up to um huff halfback cutback not huffback halfback cutback it is a phenomenal play to be honest we're gonna snap the ball and then we're gonna head on over to the outside sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but really all these plays work i'd say around 75 percent of the time we're still doing good second and ten and then honestly you can try the other really good plays they might be countered this one is not um we're gonna try to break through the middle we do not end up breaking through the middle but we're going to go back to trips halfback stretch it worked before it should work again we're going to go to the outside and we're going to almost squeeze in for the touchdown now for the if you're stuck at the goal line i would just recommend weak fullback dive and usually you can get the last few yards just like that john k pushes through 100 overall easy peasy and that's really it guys use those plays those you know six or seven plays that i showed you and you should be extremely extremely successful in this weekend's tournament now six points we're still going to end up winning because of my game plan it was so good that it stopped the guy from even scoring once again goes back to the game plan and the importance of it the huge huge importance of it so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and smack that like button and if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button right below the video it's a huge red button you cannot miss it and if you're already subscribed make sure you go ahead and turn on post notifications so you can't be notified whenever i do upload videos and also let me know in the comment section below if you, if you turn them on i will shout you out or you have a chance at being shouted out in one of my next videos so on that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace